Hello, hello. Good morning, Facebook. It's Saturday, 10 a.m. and I'm about to check out this property and I wanted to share it with you all. So I haven't gone inside. You're gonna be um, with me to check it out. So here's the front yard. Very quiet street. Nice front yard. Good frontage, curb appeal two car garage here let me come outside and show you there's siding and stonework which is cute i like it so here we go it's new construction you can smell the newness always love that smell you know it's like the car smell a new car smell is always so nice So let's see what we got. Oh, open floor plan. I like it. Lighting's nice. The doors are frosted, I like that. It gives you the light from the front door, uh, but keeps the privacy factor there. Open from the top. So you see how that banister is open on both sides. That makes such a huge difference in natural lighting hitting the house. If, for example, this was a wall right there or the other side was a wall, you're limited in the sun, natural sunlight you get in the house. That one feature makes a huge difference. I like it. I like the openness. Double oven, white. Here's your kitchen with the Eden area too, so your breakfast nook. Pantry's a little small for me, but not bad. Cute door. I like the stonework on the fireplace. Already wired for the TV up there. Let's check out the backyard. Little small patio and a very nice size, decent sized yard. I'm one of those people who don't want a massive yard. I know I'm crazy. I just, I mean, I guess it's fine if you wanna deal with the maintenance of it, but I, I don't know. So right from the back, this is the back door. You have your, oh, washer dryer, slop sink, and then your, um, what do you call this? Oh, I'm blanking. Uh, like a mudroom, mudroom area, thank you. Still trying to wake up. So this is cute. I like I like having a patio area so you can kind of have a place to put some furniture, sit, eat, lounge while the kids play. So I like that. Okay. Uh, fencing on this side and that side. So that's good too. Okay. Uh, what's this over here? Closet. Okay. So washer dryer on the first floor. I'm curious to know what people think. Some people love that, others not so much. Um, some people want their washer dryer on the second level. Here's your two car garage, half bath. So cute, right? I like it. And I think there's a first floor bedroom here too. So if you've got, so it's an ensuite, which is nice. So you've got either an elderly person uh, staying with you, Nice size shower. I like the shower. Um, you've got an elderly person staying with you. You can accommodate. So dual sink, his and hers. So that's cute. I like that. And it's tastefully done, I gotta say. You know, all the tiles, the colors, the trim work. Let's see what we got in here. Walk-in closet. This is like a master down here. I'm curious to know if there is an elaborate master upstairs. So another closet. All right, I'll take you up for a quick peek on the master and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do my thing. Check out the basement in a bit too. All right, let's go check out the master. I love this. This is why it doesn't feel like work. I love this. Look at this. Open is the name of the game right now. 
Okay, so upstairs they have carpet in the floors in the bedroom. So this is, seems like could be the master. I don't know. Let's see. Nice. Closet. Okay, so I think this may be the master. But there's, why, that chandelier, like why? Why in such a big room is there such a small chandelier? But that's a quick fix. So yeah, that seems to be the master. Another ensuite bedroom, which is a Jack and Jill. Nicely done. Oh wow. So there's two sinks and it's a Jack and Jill. I am a little lost. So you can, oh, it's a three-way entrance to this bathroom from bedroom one, bedroom two, and then the hallway. So it's four bedrooms, three up here, and then one downstairs. So there you go, that's a wrap. Hope you liked what you saw. Talk to you guys soon, bye.